Joshua wanted me to get a close-up on Chapel's face in the camera. So he's he climbed under the cover earlier, but I'm going to try to zoom in on his face for you. There he is. Oh, and we got a big yawn out of him. Yeah, as if he's tired. No way he's tired. He's been sleeping for a long time. You're a pretty boy, aren't you? I have a legitimate question that I want to ask you all. For anybody who does the um, the envelope, the, uh, what do they call that? The stuffing the envelopes with the cash. I know a lot of people do that. Our daughter-in-law, Christina, has, um, I'm assuming she still does it. She's done it for years. Um, it's like, I don't know if that's part of the Dave Ramsey program or what, but I know you, you like, if, nobody, if you don't know what I'm talking about, like, you set money aside for, like, you might have an envelope that says uh, fast food, <clears throat> and that's money that you're saving for fast food. You might have another envelope that says uh, college, and then you put college cash, and you put cash in these envelopes. That's fine. I don't do that, but I mean, that's fine. You do whatever works for you and your family for your budget, right? This is my question. You're doing this to save money. You want to save money. Every dollar counts. No amount is too small to save. So why are you spending money buying fancy envelopes to put the money in? I genuinely don't understand it. You can, at Walmart, if you buy, I think I've only once in our marriage, um, and we've been married a long time, bought a box of white envelopes because you get about 500 of them in a box. And people these days don't mail a lot of stuff. You can get a box of those and be set and never have to buy another box again. And you can write on each one of those white envelopes whatever you want and not have to buy. Why do you need to spend money on fancy envelopes where they may include stickers when you get them or so why do you need that if the whole point is to save money then save money and don't spend money on envelopes i just i don't understand that if someone could explain that to me i'm sure someone will say oh it makes it more fun yeah but the point the whole point is that mentally you need to know that you're trying to save money and if you're spending money on these fancy envelopes then you j even if it's five dollars and that's five dollars you could have put in the envelope. So, someone enlighten me. It is Saturday and we're headed to Lexington. Now, we had already we had, we had already planned to go to Lexington. However, we had not planned to go to the opposite side of Lexington because we were already over uh, at the opposite side last week. And um, so, we have one vitamin shop in our area, and it is over on the other side of town. So it takes us about, what would you say, like 40 minutes? 40 minutes, if traffic's heavier, 45, 50 minutes, something like that, to get to that vitamin shop. It's not um, in an area where we would normally uh, shop, so we have to, to want to go there. And so, anyway, we went there last week, we bought a bunch of bars, and which you would have seen in last week's haul, two of the bars are expired. I mean, like bad expired. So we got our receipts and we're going to take them back and exchange them. I, I still want the bars. I still want to try the bars, uh, but we're gonna exchange them uh, for two that are in date. So it's just a shame that we're having to, um, it's a shame we're having to drive all the way back over there but the bonus for me <laughs> is there is a home goods on that side of town and we've uh, we go to that home goods but we don't go to that home goods often so uh, we while we're on that side of town after we visit the vitamin shop we'll go to that home goods and check out what they have um it we is go to the hobby lobby too 
Yeah, Kevin needs some thread. Kevin is still doing his um, the picture of, of London the um, on the Thames. Yes, and uh, yeah, the needlepoint. And um, he somehow got off last night. I miscounted all this action. So he had to pull the thread out. Well, they don't give you enough extra. <laughs> no, if you mess up like that, you don't have enough extra. So well, that's my fault. You know. So we um, we have to go by uh, more. Of the, so you think Hobby Lobby will have it? They should. I mean, we're right there. Yeah, there's a Hobby Lobby right here next to Home Goods. There's a Marshalls. Um, this is a nice Home Goods. I like this Home Goods, but I don't like it as much as the Home Goods we normally go to, because the one that we normally go to, it just has more stuff. It just it's it's a bigger store and it has more in it. Now there's another Home Goods that I've been in, uh, been to and it's really nice as well. It's in Richmond, um, but the one in Richmond, there's like a Home Goods and like a, a Marshalls right next to each other there too. And that Marshalls, I, I'm thinking it's, Mar if it's not Marshalls, it's TJ Maxx. I'm thinking it's a Marshalls. Anyway, it's actually a nicer store than the Home Goods, which I've never experienced before. It's they're both nice stores, but usually Marshalls isn't as nice. That one is. That one, it's just so. If you live um, in the area and you haven't visited uh, the locations in Richmond, they're easy to get to. They're right off the interstate, and um, there's plenty of restaurants and there's other shopping, of course, uh, but just really, really nice stores. So anyway, I figured I want to go to my home good, the one that I like today. But I told Kevin, I said, while we're on that side of town, I may as well. And I'm pretty quick in home goods. Kevin has to admit, it's not like I'm going up and down every single aisle, right? You'll admit that, right? <laughs> he, did, he doesn't want to admit that. No, that's but I have gotten pretty quick. So uh, that's what we're off to today. And if we see any fun uh, Easter uh, decorations or anything like that, then I'll share them with you. Listen to this. <laughs> we, I took the two bars in the vitamin shop and she looked at them and she said, she was very, very nice. She was the same person that checked us out earlier in the week. She said, they're not out of date, but I will exchange them. She said, I don't mind to exchange them at all. She said, but the ones you get out of the box are gonna be the same date as these. She, and um, I, was, I picked one up out of the box and I said, this one says 20 on it and she said there's two numbers she said there's two sets of numbers on there and we were both looking at the wrong number so and i, I they were hard i know and i felt uh one of them specifically i don't want to say what the flavor was because i don't want to say what the bars were um one of them specifically i felt and it was hard and i said are they all like that in that flavor and she said yes um she said you just have to put them in the microwave for a few seconds and i said oh i haven't tried to put them in the microwave so so uh yeah we'll know that if they're hard when they come out of the package then i'll put them in the microwave but i did want to say that was me uh, kevin both of us looked at the wrong that's the only number i saw printed on i know and she said there were she said there's two numbers on there she said there's two sets of numbers so well, yeah one's on like a black almost a black package so it's kind of hard to see anyway right but the funny thing is it we got over here at it took us 35 minutes to get here uh which is good we're on a, it's a saturday morning though so traffic isn't bad because it is a saturday morning so normally it would take 40 45 minutes but um so we came all the way over here for nothing so anyway she was very nice 
So this is in Home Goods. This is really cute. Look, Kevin, it's there. A it's a sack race. That's adorable. Yeah, we got a couple of them. Yeah, those are those are really cute. I actually like this. Yeah. That's heavy too. This is made of that uh, metal, like uh, I have some of mine are on the table, and they have a, they have all kinds of like dishes over here. What is this? Oh, that says Easter. That's cute. I bet that lights up. No, I bet it just lights up. Those are batteries. I get blue rolls. Yeah, you'll be spreading glitter everywhere. So if you watched last week's vlog, I showed you some new pillows that I like. They're from uh, from England and they had them. They had a bunch of them at the other home goods. This home goods did not have any of those pillows. So it really pays to go to both locations uh we and i'll tell you something else too we look through all the food because we always do and that's dinging because i don't or kevin doesn't have easy but i've got mine on i was gonna say i don't have my seatbelt on um but we're going right down to hobby lobby anyway what was i going to tell you oh we that's a new la rosa's okay, you asked I'm, me if la, hadn't seen it before. there's a la rosa's in the parking lot which kevin and i have been and we did a whole video of la rosa's uh they're they've built a la rosa's pizza right in front of this hobby lobby mm -hmm. if you're interested um but we looked at all the food and kevin said are you ready to go and i said well i'd really like to walk through the line because as i've complained before they put foods in the line in the checkout that they don't put back in the actual aisle well guess what I found a couple of things in the checkout that were not back on the shelf that I would have never been able to get if I hadn't gone through that line. So this is a Hobby Lobby. And we've already seen uh, some Easter stuff like out in the aisle, uh, like out in the middle part, but this is the first aisle that we've been in. Look, they have these little mini ones, these little guys. What do these do? What's the, oh, you have to pull the thing out to get it to work. I don't want to pull it out. So this is all Easter. Look, they've got like a Rubik's cube for an Easter basket. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's six in one package. So this is like Easter basket stuff. And look at the eggs. Tons and tons of eggs. What are these, Kev? What do you do with that? What would you do with that? Do you put stuff in it? Those are glass, I bet. Yeah. And they have masks. So look at all the Easter masks. for These are uh, for kids. And then they have them for adults. Kevin's found his Easter basket. That is cute. <laughs> oh, that is cute. Yeah, that looks, it looks like a little ballerina. And then the boys, what are they? they the girls get cute little things. Boys get like balls. Yeah, the boys are boring, aren't they? They're really boring. If the boys could have the two -two. They could, yeah. And then you have these like decorative baskets down here. Yeah. What are those? Do you make something with those? I guess you glue them, like they're little chicks. So like all these are like crafting things? Yeah, eat the crafts. Eat Look how craft. teeny tiny these bunnies are. Oh, those are cute. Those are little sheep. Yeah, teeny tiny little bunnies. You, If you had like a little dollhouse. Yeah, those would be cute. You could put those in a dollhouse. All kinds of crafting stuff, though. And then I have a couple of these rabbits. 
Um, and this is where I bought them was Hobby Lobby. But they have any kind of rabbit you want. If you want a more natural looking one, they have them. Or if you want uh, really fake looking ones, they have them too. Yeah, that could be a real one in your garden. Mm -hmm. I don't think that would hold up your garden. I mean, it's plastic, but I don't think the color looks good. And they have all kinds of signs. Take time to stop and smell the flowers. I don't have any little garland for these Oh, you know what? To hang. I didn't even think. Yeah, those are cute. Umbrellas. And you could put stuff in them, I guess? You could. It was cool so Ashley likes snails. They have snails. They're kind of cartoony though. Yeah. Ashley likes a real looking snail, but you can paint your own. I think that's that's kind of cool. This is some spring. This is like yeah, summer, spring. And then they have some wood stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, so this is all their summer stuff over here. And they have lots of toys, outdoor toys for summer. But look at this uh all this wood stuff that you can paint and make it your own look at chalk bottle. you throw it at them and it leaves these chalk ducks. as a parent would you want that all over your kid yeah, have to go outside and then i can hose them off and then their clothes and all that i wouldn't want that on all of their clothes they have a uh, united states flag they have Oh, those are cool. You see, you can either hang them or paint them. Right. They have a United States, uh, yeah. And then they have these where, don't, aren't these the things like you can burn your last name in? I want you to look. This is at home at the colors of the slow cookers and the toasters. I like Kevin found something he liked. <laughs> what, in the, what movie, Disney movie, was there a character that. Isn't it tangled? Oh, it was tangled. Yep. Look, they have coffee makers that are pink and blue. They have a popcorn maker that's uh, yellow. Oh my gosh, look at that. It looks like Lego. They can't say Lego. But uh, that looks like Lego. And then, How quick would you have to make your own? And then they have a Star Wars little... They have Mickey and Minnie stuff too here. They have a mini croc. Yeah. I didn't know they had all this stuff. Look, even for the <laughs> the leopard print, animal print. Tell you what, I could honestly just be filming this whole store because there is stuff to look at everywhere you go. There's there's just all kinds of stuff. Kevin's looking for the needlepoint stuff, um, but I mean, literally, there's there's stuff everywhere. It would take you, if you came here like on a field trip, it would take you like all day to be able to, to see everything. Well, Kevin found the thread that he was looking for. So that's good. And they had an excellent selection here. So yeah, they have a really, really good size selection. That's pretty. Yeah, look at that one. There's a bunch. Kevin likes looking at those little minis. I just think the little houses are cool. The little mushrooms and the little... Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the, like, little tree house. Yeah, I think it's cool. And, like, look, you can have your... Little snails. Yeah, sitting in the yard of your fairy house. Then you have the farm. And then they have fake fruit. Okay. Who is buying fake fruit? And tell me what you do with it. Yeah, the butterflies. Those are very pretty. What are you doing with your... You put them on a, in a bowl on your table. Okay. Yeah. Tell me what you're doing with your fake... With or your, your fake... fake or your fake vegetables. Or, your fake yeah. or could you buy these for like a kid's kitchen? And yeah, teach your kids? Expensive. It would be kind of expensive. Teach your kids the... Yeah, because these are like $3 a piece, some of them. Yeah. So here is the new La Rosa's as you're leaving Hobby Lobby, and there's also a Skyline Chili. I'm pretty sure those are both names. I'm pr well, I'm thinking there's a La Rosa's and a Skyline Chili on at the Richmond Road location. I'm thinking those were close together. I think um, they're owned by the same company. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. They're owned by the same company. 
So Hobby Lobby had some really cute Easter stuff. If you're looking for some different things, uh, they definitely have some, some different items. We are at Ashley's house and she made us dinner. And guess what? She made us the, um, Ashley, or what's kind of, these are called chicken, par chicken par yeah, chicken Parmesan sandwiches, which I've shown you before. And I told her, I said, I just, these have moved in like the, my first place for my favorite meal. week I showed you a possum this week I'm showing you a little kitty cat look how cute it is it's so tiny and fluffy and I'm sure it has brothers and sisters somewhere it's very very cute we have some mail to open for you this is from Kathy and Kathy always leaves me the nicest comments uh, her comments are always very positive and uplifting very very sweet comments and i appreciate that very much uh peace in your heart joy in your life and a sense of hope in the coming year um see it says i've been wanting to send this little gift for you to have a pizza night motor city on me <laughs> um this past year with the virus side effects one surgery and one to go has been crazy um, I'm falling apart, lol, uh, but I'm very lucky, uh, but I was held back from sending out Christmas, I tried New Year's, no, Valentine's Day, no, and now it's almost Easter, so before the next fiasco, I felt good, so well, here I am, <laughs> um, and you see, she's been through so much, and all of her comments are just, I mean, so incredibly positive. Uh, during all this time, since 420, you and your channels have brought me so much joy and laughter. You are wonderful, and Mondays, I always look look and forward to your hourly chat, car rides, etc. Uh, so again, thank you for being truly awesome people who have touched others' lives. Uh, my sister and friends still can't find Motor City. In our Walmart, they've been wonder, uh, wonderful looking for items from Tammy and Kevin's my, ta my uh, Tammy and Kevin list. LOL. Thanks and much love, Kathy. Thank you so much. And she gave us a, a Walmart yeah, gift there. card. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, I don't want to. Um, I tell you what. What's funny about you mentioning they can't find the Motor City at Walmart? I was just at Walmart not that long ago with Ashley, and I glanced over in the frozen section, and I saw, oh, there's the Motor City, because I know exactly where to look for it. So, thank you very, very much. Um, I appreciate this. Um, so, a couple days later, my sister says, I want you to know I was in Walmart, couldn't find any of the Motor City pizzas, so I'm going to buy it at Costco. Because at Costco, you get, a two pack. you get a two pack. It's actually cheaper if you have a Costco membership. We don't. So, but I told her, I said, Jennifer, I saw the Motor City pizzas at Walmart. I said, you just have to know where to look. That's the thing. They have a lot of pizzas they, that they put, like, at eye level, front and center, facing out, and they'll face them out like this. They'll have them facing out to where you can see them. The Motor City pizzas are way up here the on top. the top shelf, and it's a black box. So if you were to just glance through the pizzas and look up, you would literally think that's a black space on the top shelf. It's not. It's the Motor City pizza boxes, and they have them laying down like this. So they're not up to where you're like, oh, there's Motor City. No, they're down like this, so they're even harder to see. Not, so. that, that, not that they may not just have them in your area, too. You they know, may not, you know, Kathy. They, they may not they have them in They ship different your places, area. different areas. But so. I can tell you yeah, that... Yeah, give them a really good look. I'd give them... <laughs> yes, because my sister 
had even just looked for them and she's like, they don't have them. And I'm thinking, I know they have them because I just saw them. So have them look on the top shelf and, and it, let them know you're looking for a black box. So it doesn't, it's not, you know, a really colorful like a bunch of other ones out there. But I really appreciate the gift card very much. And you know, we're, we're at Walmart. I know to Kevin, it feels like daily sometimes. Especially if I'm searching for it's like something. I'm in vacation in London. I'm going to every grocery store ever. <laughs> hey, I wish. I wish. This is from Megan H. and Kelsey P. Dear Tammy and Kevin, we are Megan and Kelsey, two friends from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We have been watching your video since 2017 when we were roommates in our first apartment after graduating from college. We thought you might enjoy the selection of chocolates from Sam's Candies, a Pittsburgh favorite. The, good prices too. The Yenzer Bar is named after a popular nickname for Pittsburgh residents. We can't wait to see you review these and hear what you think. The chocolate covered pretzels are our favorite. Thank you for your videos. Enjoy. Megan and Kelsey. So, Yenzer is, why would they call um, Pittsburgh residents, uh, do they call you Yenzer? <laughs> no. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. See, it was the bag. That's a, that's a heavy bag right there. Let me see. Oh, I thought it said Sam's. I thought it's Sarah's. No, it says Sam's oh, S-A-M-S, Sam's Candies. Oh, uh, these are all Sarah's. But this says S-A-R-R-I-S. Yeah, Sarah's. Sarah's Candies. Sarah's and Sarah's. Well, sh I swear. No, no you know Sarah's. what? The she, R's look like an M. That's what it is. She wrote her R's, R's are they connected. Touch. <laughs> they touch. So it literally her two R's look, look like, like one Sarah's. M. It, it literally looks like an M. She wrote Sarah's. I just, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, so. I'm just gonna grab some stuff. This, Sarah's Candies. Uh, this is a milk, uh, milk chocolate square, which, what is that a picture on it? It's a mask. Oh, it is a mask. Oh yeah, with the ear, the ear things. <laughs> I was so like, what is that? that is. You've got to see this. This is hysterical. Okay. I hope you can uh, hold on. Let me get it just Oh, I hope you can see that. It is literally a mask. That is so funny. <laughs> I love it. Uh, it's funny that this is in here. There's this bank. There's this bank. It's called Fort Bank. And it's over in Lexington. And it, their sign's really cool because it's you pronounce it, even though it's not spelled fork, it's you, you pronounce it like fork, like F-O-R-T, I guess is how you pronounce it. But anyway, they have this huge fork, fork. outside their bank, like a dinner fork. Like the times are stuck down. Yeah, and it's really out. cool. And I thought about taking pictures of it like every month because what they'll do is they changed the, this big low, um, what would you call it? A picture of something on the top. Like, yeah, it's like at the very end of the fork, they'll stick something on the end. It like for like Thanksgiving, hat. they'll have maybe a, a pilgrim hat, I think is the one for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And for, um, uh, oh gosh, what else do they have? For Easter, for Valentine's, I mean, for every holiday, they Seems have like different They have a mask things. right now. That's what's funny. It's Love a mask. The cat. the cat decided he wanted in. Um, and now he wants out. Uh, yeah, they have, they've had this big mask made and we're like, what? Is, that's a mask. <laughs> that's, uh, that's funny. Okay. This looks like a it's really... A Cool place, but they have it's like an ice cream. It's like a 50s. You know, we were wondering if we had like one of those in our area. Old time. Like an old time 50s. Shop. Yeah. Because uh, that would be cool to go visit like a 1950s shop. Okay. This is chocolate covered potato chips, which look phenomenal. And then these are candies. Sari, is that how you say it? Sari 
or Saris. Saris, Saris, Saris. I bet it is Saris. Or I don't know. I'll have to look this up. Uh, made by our family just for yours. And these are little, little candies. Mm -hmm. um, sugar bunnies is what they are. Yeah, I'll have to make sure I'm pronouncing this right. Oh, Easter stuff. It's a hot chocolate ball. Hot cocoa bunny bomb. Okay. I have only, I bet you Kevin has not seen one of these. Have you seen a bomb? Mm -hmm. A hot cocoa hot bomb? Milk. Where did you see them? They sell them. Where? I don't know. We've seen them at like Kroger or Walgreens no. or somewhere. I don't remember. Some store somewhere I saw them. Oh, okay. I know. Okay. Them. Okay. Frankfurt makes one. I think that's the brand that makes one. Yes. Okay. Uh, He's right. Uh, we've I've seen one somewhere. It's okay. Like we tried one. We did. We did. I wasn't counting that one because... <laughs> I know, she I know. She wanted a highfalutin chocolate. No, no, no. Well, I've seen them like they're specially made from candy shops. Oh, yeah. And so I'm thinking, where has he been where he's seen one of these special ones? thought I was ones? running around on her. No. I was shopping without her. <laughs> well, you've got the, the, I guess, the brand. But I'm thinking of more of like this is a specialty item from a specialty shop. And I've seen other people on YouTube get them and they put them in their hot chocolate and they're really really cool because you put them you you put them in the the cup the mug and then you pour the hot uh, yeah. milk on top of it and, melts and it collapses it's really cool so anyway that's what this is and i'm so thrilled that we get to try one um now i think we had one a while back it's been a long time ago it had like marshmallows yeah. in it yeah, yeah. So the, to me, this is more authentic, but you know. It was, it was cool that it, it could like collapse on itself. So. Uh, this is, uh, looks like a white chocolate rabbit, which is, I love that. And then this. Looks this, like a darker chocolate. This is like a, like it looks like a real rabbit. This is like a cartoon uh, uh, rabbit. rabbit. Uh, yeah, kid's rabbit. And it says dark. It's dark, yeah, it like a dark jazzy purple. bunny. So yes, we have a dark one and a milk chocolate. Then we have milk chocolate covered pretzel. And you can see it through the bag. It is literally a one great big pretzel in there. This is a milk chocolate marshmallow egg. I love getting to try the, the themed, the Easter themed stuff. Uh, this is a butter cream egg. This reminds me of like stuff you would get from like Russell Stover, yeah, especially yeah. when you see it in this wrapping and stuff. That's your Yenzer bar or whatever. Yenzer bar, inclined to satisfy your sweet tooth. This is a milk chocolate bar. Um, and I've, yeah, Yenzer. Pittsburgh Yenzer greetings. So that's something that if you ever, you visit Pittsburgh, you can buy this for or your friend and say, this is your, uh, your gift from Pittsburgh. That's cool. Okay. Melt away. Pecan melt away, cashew, peanut butter, and peppermint. Thank you, Thank you. so good. very much to Megan and Kelsey for thinking of us when you, you went in the shop. This is so cool. I, I will <laughs> learn how to say the name Saris. I'm thinking it's Saris. Mm. Not Sarah, Saris. Saris. But thank you very, very much. Uh, I can't wait to review this mm -hmm. stuff. We got one more. Okay, we have another box. Another big box. We have a box. Let's see. Okay, let me move. And let me just say, whoever sent it to you did everything by hand, because that's written by hand. Oh. And it's sealed with wax. Oh my. From McDonald's. From McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> you guys what? sealed the package from McDonald's. <clears throat> Let me just say, this is heavy. Oh my god. Does that say it's a shamrock shake? Jamie's shake up your shamrock shake. A kit. Kit. It's a shamrock shake kit. I swear it feels like there's a milkshake machine in here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's not, but it feels like it's heavy. Oh my goodness. I'm to get all the packing stuff out here so it won't be all over the floor. Yeah, uh, failed. Okay. Hey, Tammy. As a Shamrock Shake fan, you already know Shamrock 
season has officially begun. And right about now, you're probably getting ready to raise a glass of minty goodness to St. Patrick's Day. But hold up. Since you can't go to parades or pubs this year, we wanted to make the one holiday tradition you can count on, the Shamrock Shake. Feel even more extraordinary with this special delivery. We know they're amazing on their own, but in the spirit of the season, we've created a kit so you have everything you'd ever need to hack the Shamrock Shake or Oreo Shamrock McFlurry and make this St. Patrick's Day at home something else. Use these coupons for a shake or McFlurry on us. Then take these not in restaurant toppings and shake up your shamrock. Make it a shamrock charcuterie board before tasting. Spike with a little something you might have at home or dive right in. There's no wrong way to do it. We hope you enjoy your friends at McDonald's. I like that. Put cool. something in it that you have at home. Uh, Kentucky bourbon. That's what we have. Um, wow. A lot of coupons. Limited time shamrock shake. Oh, a free small shamrock shake or Oreo shamrock McFlurry. Uh, that is really cool. So they sent me four of those. They sent me um, three world famous fries these are for one medium order of fries three of those and then they sent us baked apple pie I haven't had one, baked um, apple pie in one free baked apple pie and they sent us three of those that is awesome uh you know they mentioned parades in there i've been wondering if they were gonna um locally if they were gonna have any parade i bet you they're not open like this like this yeah, yeah. Is it not one of those boxes that... You open the front, but you got to take the bowl off. Oh, you got to take the bowl off. Okay. <laughs> got to untie it first. Okay. Yeah. I uh, like these kinds of... Yeah. Oh, my. What is... It? Okay. To make sure you've got what you need to hack your shamrock wow. shake, we've included a wide range of toppings to enjoy the minty deliciousness. Oh, boy. They've included a lot in here. Mm -hmm. um, chocolate chips. Mint M&M's, maraschino cherries, chocolate covered espresso beans, mm. shamrock sprinkles, green gummy bears, green candy canes, marshmallows, uh, coupons for other McDonald's favorites so you can top your shake with a baked apple pie or dip our world famous fries into. Why do people do that? They dip their fry into their shakes in general. Right? Uh, this. Look! I'm trying to get. Oh, this is real good. This is a cool glass. Oh my god! But I can't gosh. get. My fingers are too fat. To get well, out. let me do it. My my. <laughs> Look, I feel like a tyrannosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> it's just barely out of reach. Somebody needs to make a gift of you, of you doing that. Somebody out there needs to do that. That's hilarious. My, I have man hands. So, hey, which I'm not complaining because I, I like my hands. But uh, my, I do have big hands. Uh, that is a cool glass. Yeah, that's a nice little, little glass. Uh, there is all kinds of, yeah, there, these are cherries. Like legit cherries that they have put in a jar. Like cherry cherries? Like what, like maraschino cherries. Oh, maraschino. Yes. I can reach those ones. Oh, I was gonna say, do you need help? <laughs> those are not spot. Those are those tall. are very nice. Look, that one actually says your name. <gasps> that says Tammy on it. Yeah, they customized this box for you. Oh my gosh! It, you probably can't see that, but that is my name. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to take out some. <laughs> that is awesome. Put this box right out here. Okay. Because there's something underneath too. Okay, hold on. I think there is. I can't tell. I love no, they told me everything that's in here. It's it's toppings. These no. are... There's something else flat on the bottom. Right there. Um, and what's funny? It's like a cutting board. Oh. It is a cutting board. Is it really a cutting board? Oh my goodness. Look how you, nice that is. Down to the bottom. 
So it has the McDonald's uh, logo at the bottom, and here's the glass. If you couldn't see it, I still don't know if you'll be able to see my name on the bottom there. That is, this is amazing. That's yeah, cool. I think we got it all. I think so. I didn't put anything else in there. I tell you what, uh, you could do some decorating with that, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, that's that's nice. a it's lot. It's all shredded green and white. That paper. is a lot of. Uh, and you fluff it, it's really a lot. And there's uh, a half a box full over here. Um, so That's cool. literally, can you open one? Literally, these jars are full of exactly what they just said. So, the last uh, what is so funny is that just a little while ago, Kevin went to our local McDonald's for his lunchtime review and he wanted to buy a Shamrock shirt. Yeah, he's gonna get one. He wanted one. And uh, the machine was broken. <laughs> so, um, I can only hope that it will be working uh, on our next visit. Or we just need to visit another McDonald's. Hmm. What do you think? Yeah. You think we need to visit another we McDonald's? Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they put, somebody took the time to... I mean, these are those mint M&Ms that we did a review of. Um, oh, chocolate covered. Those are. These are chocolate covered espresso beans in here. I mean, yeah, they went to a lot of trouble to do this. These, those are uh, got the shamrock in them. <laughs> oh, they do. Uh, these are uh, marshmallows in here. Chocolate covered espresso base. If you're ever wondering, I don't, I'm not real careful with this one because it's, it's safe for skin. You won't cut yourself. Mm, wow. Oh, that's I mean, you can if you really work at it, you can probably cut yourself. But it's not, it's not a razor blade I'm flicking around for myself. So what you know, this is a Tammy safe razor blade. <laughs> Why did you try? One of those espresso Oh, they're good. Now, would you like to tell them does Tammy ever grab that one? No, she never uses the one that's safe. <laughs> she, oh. she grabs the box cutter. <laughs> With the razor. Never use that one. Those gummy bears. Those yeah. are so good. Green gummy bears? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Apple. Apple? Oh, and they're big too. I don't want one because I have coffee in my mouth. <laughs> Oh, they smell wonderful. This is awesome. This is cool. And this is really, really cool. Um, and so, if we could get a shamrock shake, it would be neat to try it with different things in it. Um, I've never had one before. It's been a long time. Since Kevin's had one. Yeah, I've never had one at all. Uh, so, for me, it would be quite a treat to be able to get one. And now, since we have a coupon, yeah, we're going to have to go buy. And I've never tried one of the Oreo ones. And the Oreo one. Yeah, so, I what, uh, what we need to do is we need to do a video of us going to McDonald's and getting um, a Shamrock Shake and, a an, of them. and an Oreo Shamrock McFlurry. Yeah, bring them and, back home and try some stuff in them. Uh, yeah, I guess we could. Or we could just try them in or the car. Them. Or just try them <laughs> in the car the way they are. But I think this is awesome, and, mm -hmm. I'm, and um, I never, I, I, somebody contacted me on Instagram from McDonald's and said, hey, we would like to uh, send you something. And I thought, oh, they'll send me a, a coupon for a, a free meal or something like that. I wasn't expecting anything like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, yeah, is, cool. this is really, really nice. And yes, it's nice they, yeah, and they really put a personal touch on it. They did, so, put your name in something. Yes, like. this is incredible. So, um, so thank you uh, to everyone that sent things. And I McDonald's. really appreciate it. And the McDonald's, yes, we appreciate it. Um, yeah, very, very much. So I haven't really shown um, any Easter stuff at Walmart, and we're here. So I figured I would show you the stuff that they have. Um, now we saw a lot of eggs at Hobby Lobby, but I'm telling you, they have a lot of eggs here too. <laughs> LED uniform. Yeah, and these are LED. It says try me. Oh, and you can see, yeah, mm -hmm. that it lights up. LED uniform, those are cute. That's a new one. That's a new one for eggs, so they can charge you more money for an egg. So, um, tons of baskets. And you can get as fancy or as simple 
as you want. And oh, and they're scented. Yeah, they're scented. Okay, and then those washcloths. Yeah, the magic towels. Those are Disney. They used to just sell those at Dollar Tree. Uh -huh. And they have all this grass, which I once I started doing that for my kids, it's like I'm not a fan of the grass because it just gets everywhere. Uh, do you see SpongeBob? Scooby Doo. These are all big up here. There's a minion too. Mm -hmm. There's a. <laughs> These are Peter Rabbit. Yeah, the Peter Rabbits are nice, Kevin. No pants, no problem. <laughs> they have a, um... Oh, and look at these. These are like little. They've sold a lot of them too. Hey, here's mine. Peter and Benjamin. Oh, Kevin loves a hedgehog. They are cute. They're very, very cute. I know you love them. And he has bunny ears. Okay. And these have the year on the, the uh, foot. I remember um, when I worked at Kmart, back when I was 16 years old, they used to sell these bears, and the bears had the year on the foot. That's you know, we still have not watched that movie. Well, they have all kinds of these, but these buckets are the ones that when they go on sale at the end of the year, I usually, $5 yeah, they, they put them uh, on deep, deep discount and I usually get them. And this is all stuff to put in the baskets. These are all, Stickers and tattoos. Everyone, all Inside of eggs, yeah. yeah. Is that sidewalk chalk? Oh yeah, that's sidewalk chalk. Shake shape like uh, peeps. Lots of uh, a little bunny uh, plates. Oh, yeah, those are cute. Lots of cake decorating stuff, huh? Mom used to make that bunny cake, they have a pan down there shaped like yours. Your mom's was bigger, bigger though. Than this is like just spring stuff. Life's a peach. Uh, oh my gosh! It's not Easter. That is the pi that's the Pioneer Woman. That's one of her dogs. Oh, okay. The pi that is one of the Pioneer Woman's dogs. Uh, this stuff is Pioneer Woman yeah. stuff, and it's for spring. It's Let me show you this side real quick. This is like decorations. Cool. Yeah. Oh, that's neat looking. That's a game. Five Nights at Freddy, I don't know why kids, little kids, younger kids, and what that's a creepy game. Yeah. Bunch of Fortnite Halo. Collection. Oh, yeah, that's neat. Yeah, that's cool. Do, he doesn't play Fortnite, though, no, does he? No, he doesn't. I mean, he'd probably like it if he got it. He wanted one of the Fortnite. No, it was. Was it Fortnite? No, it was Overwatch. Overwatch. You want to be Overwatch characters. Look at him. There's a girl, whatever it is. A banana. I think you need to play that to appreciate that. Yeah. Though. You're not going to appreciate those things if you don't play it. Yeah, he doesn't play any of those. Is He-Man back? Like, do the cartoons come back on? Because, I mean, they have the battle cut and everything. I'm going to be playing on my cartoon network. Really. Prince play. Adam Sky Sled. The retro. Uh, I tell you what, Jennifer was crazy about He Man. I, don't know, I used to watch it every morning. Every, I mean, every Saturday morning. Oh, I've watched it too. Yeah, there's. I'm sure we got all. We those. bought those. Yeah. Yeah, he has those. Mm -hmm. 
Scooby Doo. Yeah. Oh yeah. What kind of minion stuff? Well, that's what going to put in. No, I wish they had them because we would have bought her all of them. Look how huge these are. I love buying stuff like this and putting them in like the uh, Easter baskets and stuff. They have the Incredibles too. They have Paw Patrol. They have just the Disney Mickey Mouse. Oh my gosh, they have a princess one. Those are so cute and I'm dropping them everywhere. Those are so cute. And I'll pick them up off the floor, but yeah, those are adorable. They've never had those before. I talked about where the uh, Motor City pizzas are in Walmart. So these are all the pizzas. The Motor City is up here at the very, very top. And our Walmart only has Supreme and Three Meat. But yeah, see how all the other pizzas, like some of them are turned towards you. Some of them, a lot of them are at eye level. These are black and they're up at the top. And with these, refrigerated sections being black they just really really blend in so you have to look for them so i just wanted to show you that's where we find ours a couple weeks ago kevin and i did a, a box opening at the table and i think we showed it i'm pretty sure we showed it we ordered a rubik's cube and uh the funny thing about the rubik's cube is uh well the funny thing about it was is it was cheaper on Amazon. So a lot of people for years and years and years, you thought as Walmart it being cheaper than Amazon, but it wasn't. It was uh, several dollars uh, cheaper to get it on Amazon in the mail, free shipping, than it was to go to Walmart. So today- As long as you're not in a hurry. As long, yeah, as long as you're not in a hurry. So today we were in Walmart and we were looking in the toys and, uh, well, you would have just seen we were looking at the toys. And um, we had a birthday present to buy and we saw something that would be perfect for a birthday present. And so, I said, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. And Kevin's like, well, wait a minute. We need to scan it because Kevin can scan the barcode and look it up on Amazon. And I thought, not gonna be cheaper on Amazon. Guess what? It was cheaper on Amazon. It's like $6 is cheaper. Six dollars cheaper six dollars that's quite significant and so not only did kevin find it cheaper on amazon he ordered it right there while we were standing in walmart in the toy department now the other things they didn't have right or were more expensive so you just gotta look so you have to look yeah, but it pays to look check it out get the yeah. app on your phone it's not that big a deal no i don't need the birthday gift like it's not like i've waited to the last minute um, or anything like that and so it, it if it takes a couple weeks to get to me that's fine but i just wanted to let you know yep. my battery died <laughs> right in the middle of when i was recording and we were actually on our way home we've gone home dropped the stuff off from walmart and then uh, we're coming back out so um but anyway, I was pretty much finished telling you what I wanted to tell you anyway. Is basically, if you see something at um, Walmart and it, or yeah, or anywhere, and it's not an ordinary purchase, especially look on Amazon because a lot of times it's a much, much cheaper. And, and even if it's a couple dollars, that's a couple dollars, and they deliver it to your door free. You especially know, especially if you got Prime where they do do the free shipping. Yes. Now, now we do Prime. We pay like what, like, is it like a hundred dollars a year? Okay, what I'm wondering is, now that you've mentioned that, my aunt told me that she's thinking about doing Amazon and on a month by month basis. Yeah, it's more expensive that way, but. And I think it's like $12 a month. So my question is, do you still get shipping? Yeah, you get the same benefits. You oh, just okay. Pay. You so just pay you for a month so you can cancel pay. it at any time. Okay, so you don't Whereas, have to pay for the whole year to no, get we're free pre, shipping. No, we're prepaying for the whole year, so basically we've got it for the year. Um, yeah, I guess if you, but if you don't want to, if you don't have the money to pay out $100, then, you know. You well, do she doesn't know 
what shows and, what, oh, and yeah, that's why. So if you just want to try it out. Exactly. So that's the thing about it is she, I think she would use it a lot for the shipping. I think she would love having the free shipping. Um, but I think what she is mainly interested in is the prime videos. Yeah. And so, so many, um, are included, but then there's a lot that aren't included. So yeah, we very rarely watch them. No, we very rarely watch watch anything on there because we've any, got so many other of those streaming services too that we usually check first. Yes, <laughs> so. but a lot of times you'll look something up and it'll say, "Oh, it's available on Amazon Prime." Yeah, it's available on Amazon Prime if you pay four dollars for it. It's not always included, and that's what you have to be careful with. Is it's not always uh, just because it says it's on Amazon. Yes, Amazon has. It, but you might have to pay three or four dollars and we've done that many many times we're totally willing to pay for a lot of things but sometimes it's just like ah eh, you know i don't it's not that big of a deal so it's like yeah i'd rather just watch something the else series. right exactly <laughs> then you're not going to want to do that but anyway we uh we're at kroger i just wanted to finish that conversation and let you know i didn't cut off the video my camera just the battery was completely dead and i couldn't even turn the camera back on i am going to end the vlog right here for the week uh, i did want to tell you that we are on the very last season now of vikings we're probably i don't know how many episodes into it probably six episodes into the last season right at six um, but, uh, I, I'm truly going to be sad when it's over, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're on the last season. We've been watching like two or three a night just because I love it so much and I want to see what happens. But then once it's over, I will be sorry. Uh, thank you again. Uh, to everyone who's been visiting the community page on uh, my YouTube channel and who's been, uh, you've been answering the polls. Some people uh, just take it way too seriously um, and they're like, oh no, I can't answer either way or, or you know, whatever. And that's fine. <laughs> I think it's hilarious uh, just because it's supposed to be a bit of fun, you know, but to everyone that's been going there and answering the questions, it is for fun. And we truly enjoy seeing the results of the polls. And one of these days, I probably ought to make a video uh, where, or Kevin and I could both do it. It would be fun where we actually answer um, the poll questions ourselves uh, so that you can, like when, when I say, would you love, rather uh, be part of Star Wars or Star Trek? You know, you, um, I'm always interested in what you all have to say. You might be interested in which one Kevin and I would choose. I don't know. So, uh, but that's just something to think about for the future. But I do appreciate everyone who goes there and votes. And I hope you all have a great week and thanks for watching.